Hey my friends, so sometimes I get some messages from perhaps well-intended people that tell me that I should really curtail, I guess, my language and, and maybe how I conduct myself a little bit because they know I'm an online business owner. And so my response to that is always, hey, I know you mean well, but if I feel like I have to give up an ounce of my genuineness and who I truly am to be a successful business owner, then I don't really own my business. My business owns me, and then I might as well just go back and get another job like every other sucker that has a job, working for money and totally controlled by the dollar to pay their bills. That's not for me. That's why I got out of that nonsense, so I could be myself. But a lot of people that own their own business, they are not themselves. They're in the business of convincing people and persuading them and putting on this fake bullshit persona. And I feel like it defeats the purpose of owning your own business. I don't want my business to own me. I don't want money to own me or control me like it does just about all of you. <laughs> Sad but true. So I became a business owner so I could get away from that nonsense and escape every tyrannical pyramid scheme that has ever been devised against mankind, which is every job that exists, and most, most self-employed people as well. It's really sick. So it's like this. I'm making this because I wanted to make that point so you understand why I'm myself and also because I want to extend an invitation out to you as well. If you're sick and fucking tired of living in fear over you might possibly lose your source of income, if you do muster up the balls or the big brass ovaries to be your true self, unreserved version of your true self. If you're sick and tired of living in that kind of fear where you can't really be you, and you're sick and tired of having to convince people, if you have a job, you're in the sales business of convincing people, even if you don't have a sales job. Even if your customer base isn't customers, but just maybe other businesses, even if you work in an office cubicle or you're a janitor, you're convincing people, your boss for a pay raise, you're convincing somebody of something, you're totally in the sales business. And I'm not. So if you have a job, by default, by the nature of that ugly beast, you're convincing people more than I am because I don't do it at all. And I get to be myself. And I get to do what I want to do. And I get to act in a way that reflects who I really am without the fear of loss like I would at a job if I was going to be who I really am. And that's the bottom line. And I get to live this free, beautiful life. I'm in Las Vegas right now, making it a pool day. At the time of this recording, it's Thursday. It's the middle of the day. 98% of the population has a job they have to go to. Whether they love what they do or they don't love what they do, they're controlled by the dependency of money to pay their bills. They cannot be themselves, 100%. And absolutely is a, a sales whore. <laughs> Not to put you down, but that's the nature of the beast of having a job. It's so stupid, in my personal opinion. So if you're interested in escaping that nonsense, getting out of a tyrannical pyramid scheme, Facebook private message me. I'll show you what I do, and if you want to do it, we'll do it. And you're going to be yourself. And you're going to have the balls or the big brass ovaries to be yourself. And I want to dissuade you from contacting me in the first place if you're going to come up with rationale and do incredible mental gymnastics as to why you can't have a more free, more liberating life. So don't contact me if you're going to do that. But if it turns you on, if it just sexually excites you or otherwise excites you, to be a free human being, then connect with me, we'll talk about it, and if it's for you, we'll do it and we'll crush it and we'll be fucking awesome. Okay? So I look here, I look forward to hearing from some of you, and it doesn't matter who you are, we can have totally different personalities. I'm not looking for like-minded people in that regard, I like meeting people that are different from me. I love meeting people who never swear and people who do swear and people that are conservative, people that are liberal. I just like meeting people that are hungry and want more. And by that thread, we can all relate and connect to each other. And because we're so different from each other, we can bring something new to the table that we can all benefit from. That's why I love diversity and meeting people that aren't like me in that regard. Okay? So I look forward to hearing from you. And I've also got my website. It's called fireyourboss.xyz. It's not a .com, so don't, don't type in .com. It won't go there. It's fireyourboss.xyz. And connect with me over Facebook private message. And I'll show you what I'm doing. Okay? Bye for now.